Hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up an AI chat widget using High Level that you can sell to customers that put on their websites that gets them more engaged leads, which turns into more sales in their pockets, which helps them pay you over and over, month after month for your services. Let's jump in. Here's an example of a pest company. It's a local business close to me that I called on today. And as I look on this website, there's a lot of information on the website, but if I'm not inclined to read through it all, I just wanna get some quick answers. There's really nowhere to do it. I can give a call, but when I call, it goes to voicemail after hours, so I don't really get my answers. And we've got this right here, free estimate. What happens is people don't wanna take the time to fill this all out because it's just too much friction. They want a little web chat here in the bottom that they can answer a question to. Now let me show you the difference between this and one of my customers. So we go here, this is one of our customers, it's a bakery. And here's the web chat widget that we've got. And right here it says, hi there, have a question about our daily made handcrafted pastries or coffee and tea, text is here. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna do a live chat. And let's give it a whirl. And by the way, as you can see, I've already chatted with him, so it does have a history, but I'm gonna start new and say, hey there, remind me, what are your hours? So I can ask a question right here, and the bot is gonna answer me right here in real time, just like a human would. We're open Wednesday to Sunday, 7.30 to six, close Mondays, anything else you need? I'll say, yeah, tell me, let me see, tell me what, pastries you have again. Now think about that. If I were on this website and I had some questions, I'm like, oh, I've got to put in this information and hit send a message. You got to wait for the business to see it, then respond. By this time, I'm off to another website. I'm off trying to find another pest can company. This is how buyer behavior is. We go right here and you can see I'm just getting questions answered right away by the AI. Right, and, and it answers human-like, as you can see. Sure there, we have all butter croissants, almond, chocolate croissants, raspberry strudel, cream cheese, Danish, blah, blah, blah. Anything catch your eye? I'm gonna say, yeah. Let's see what it says. The thing is, is it's gonna engage. And that's what you want. You want people to engage. And so businesses, many businesses don't have an AI web chat widget on their website. And this is something that you can sell them because they need more leads to engage with them so they can turn them into sales. And most businesses don't maximize their opportunities with leads and prospects because they just don't respond to them. They just don't get back to them. So I'm gonna show you how you do it. Look at this. Our apple fritter is a delicious choice. We'd like you to join our VIP list, right? And look at that, it's already getting my contact info so I can join a VIP list, which is you know a far cry to what's going on here. And I'm sure this is a great company, by the way, I'm probably gonna get their business and uh, we'll update this with a web chat widget. But let me just show you how to do this really quick. So here I am in my high level account and I've got a sub account called Demo Company. So I'm gonna show you how we do this really quick. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to AI Agents, which I'm at, and I've already got a bot created okay, that I called Ally. So I'm just gonna edit that bot. But if I weren't editing that bot, I would just go right in here to create the bot and do you want it to do general Q&A or appointment booking? So we would say general Q&A, then we would hit continue. Now I'm gonna go back to the other one because you're just gonna put the name and information in here. So I'm gonna do cancel and go back to Alley, one that we've already done, edit. And here we are with the same things, the settings, the bot training, bot goals, and dashboard. So you're gonna give it a name and you're going to determine if you want it off, on, or autopilot. We're just gonna say autopilot because that way it's gonna answer all the time. And we're gonna put what channels we want the AI bot to answer on. Now in this case, I have SMS, chat widget, and live chat selected because this is for a web chat widget. The business name by default is just gonna be the business name that we have here, which is demo company. It's gonna automatically populate, but if you wanted to put something else in here, you certainly could. And I've got the bot responding after two seconds. If you wanted to make this two minutes, you could, but I wouldn't, I would make it almost immediately because someone is reaching out, they've got a question they need an answer. And then maximum number of messages bot can say, have in that conversation. We have it at 15, you can go more if you want. Like let's go to 25 if we wanna do that. But actually we'll just go to keep it at 15. And then we can send the bot to sleep when I send a message manually or through a workflow. And what this means is we're gonna turn this on. So let's say that the bot engages with a prospect that's come to the website, but then a human notices and the human can take over if they want to through the chat. So if the human takes over and says, hi, this is Dar, what can I help you with? Or whatever you would wanna say, then we've got the bot going to sleep for two hours so the human can interact. And we're gonna hit save. Now we're gonna to go to bot training. Now the cool thing about 
some of the recent updates with high level is they've added knowledge bases. And you can have, I think it's seven different knowledge bases that the bot can pull from. So for right now, we're gonna just say the existing knowledge base, but let me show you what this is like. If we wanted to add a new one, let's just say, oh, I'll just say pest services. Because, you know, let's say we're doing this for the pest control. And we're gonna just, I'll just skip description, but you can put a description in there. Now what's gonna do, it's gonna open up a window for us to fill a knowledge base. And on that knowledge base, we can add sources. So let's add a source and we can have it crawl a website or crawl a web page. We can add an FAQ or table. So let's just say, let's go crawl a web. And we would give it the domain. So in this case, let's just go here. Let me show you how we would do this. And now I'm gonna have it extract the data. So just like that, the web crawler is going to that URL and it's crawling all the information on that particular website or particular web page if you give it an exact web page. Once it crawls that information, now the bot has that knowledge base of the website so it can answer questions, any question that is asked related to that site. Now, while that's crawling, we're gonna go back and finish setting up our bot. We're gonna come back to this and we're gonna add another knowledge base. As you can see, it says we can add up to seven knowledge bases. So we'll come back to that. And now bot goals. Bot goals is how you prompt the bot on how you want it to engage or interact. And so we've got the personality, we've got intent, we've got additional information, and the standard prompting from high level already works good, you can plug and play. But if you really wanna get creative with your prompts to really be specific to how you want it to answer for a company, then I've got something really cool that I give my students, which is a prompter that prompts your prompt. So essentially what it does is it's a GPT that creates unique prompts for customers' businesses. So it takes you through a series of questions, asking you questions about that business, their name, their website, et cetera, how you want it to answer questions, what kind of personality you want to give it, and a whole bunch of other things. And when you answer those questions, then it builds your prompt for you that you can put here into the prompt for the bot goals. When we get down to the bottom, we can do ad additional things like appointment booking. We're not going to do that right now or workflows. All that stuff can be for like another video. I'm just going to show you quickly how you can create this and create a web chat widget. Okay, now you can see that the pet services knowledge base has been added. Let's go back here to bot training and we're going to add the pest services as well. So we've got the existing knowledge base and the pest services knowledge base for the AI bot to answer on. Let's test the bot now and see if it's answering according to knowledge base. I'll say, uh, can you help me get rid of spiders? So the AI bot is answering, I can't help with pest control directly, but I can connect you with an expert who can. When works for you to schedule a free consultation? Okay, so the bot's just saying, like, I don't do it myself. Let's say what services are provided by your company. And so you can see that it is answering questions that we've given it after having it scrape this website. So we're gonna come back here and it says, Thunder Pest Control offers bi-monthly treatments with 100% service guarantee to keep your pest, keep you pest free year round when works for you to schedule a free consultation. So this is great, right? It's answering questions, it's engaging with the lead, and it's trying to get someone uh, booked for a consultation, right? Which leads to more customers for the business. And uh, this is a good thing. Are you locally owned. It's important to me, support local businesses. Let's see what the bot says. It says, I'm not sure about that. I can provide all the details for your free consultation. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna train the bot because I happen to know that it's a locally owned company. So I'm gonna click a thumbs down and I'm gonna edit the response. So are you locally owned? I'll say, absolutely, we sure are. And we're gonna save it to this knowledge base. And now we're training the bot. So we're gonna ask it again. Are you locally owned? Absolutely, we sure are locally owned. When works for you to schedule a free consultation. Okay, so this is great. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the web chat widget. Now we're gonna go to sites, and from sites, we're gonna go to chat widget. I've already got a couple built, so let's just build a new one. And we're gonna say an all-in-one chat. We're gonna keep it live chat, email, SMS. There's all kinds of ways you can customize this chat widget window. For now, we're just gonna keep it pretty simple. You can choose the different icons you want. And as you, as I'm choosing different icons, you can see they're changing over here. So let's go with this one. I kind of like that one. Let's choose this color because the Thunder Pest Control is kind of orangey in color. 
You can also, if you want, choose different custom colors, but we're gonna leave everything the way it is. You can choose font family. You can really customize this the way you want. See how it says, hey there, have a question, text is here. Okay, I would say, hi there. Do you have some pestering pests that you need to get rid of? Hit me with any questions. Okay, and then we've got some other things we can customize. Uh, let me see, we're gonna enable custom greeting. Then the chat window itself, we can edit the title or it says have a question or enter your question and a representative will get back to you. That sounds pretty stale and stiff. I'm gonna say enter a question and we'll get back, back to you. All right, then uh, we're gonna turn this off. If you want, you can enable office hours, right? So you can have this on during certain, but I would keep it on all the time. And then you've got your acknowledgements for the chat. You know, the chat has ended, right? your experience, et cetera, et cetera. We're just gonna leave that as it is. I'm gonna hit save. And actually we're gonna call this pest widget. If the customer's website is in high level, then you can just easily add it to the website. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But if the customer has someone else that manages their website or they manage their own website, then you can just click get code and it's gonna give you code that you can just email to the customer and they can put on their website or give to their web developer, put on a website, or you can say get for WordPress and it's gonna take you through the steps to get it for WordPress. Now I'm gonna show you behind the scenes of how we've done the exact same thing for an actual live customer in the website. Here we are in the bakery account. We're on websites and we are on chat widgets. And so we have Emma the AI chat widget and we've configured the styles. So I've chosen the colors and the chat window itself and the messaging. Of course, we have it saved as Emma the chat widget. So we're gonna come back to the site itself. We're gonna go to websites and we're gonna click on settings. And as you can see, I've selected Emma the chat widget and save. And just like that, the chat widget is on their site. So we're gonna come here to the website, refresh, and here it is. And so we're gonna just continue the live chat we already had. And I'm gonna say, tell me about your coffees. Yes, we have an espresso, coffee, and tea menu carefully crafted to parallel Italy's tried and true recipes. Want to try something specific? I'll say, how about an Americano? Now, what do you think is going to engage more with customers looking for a particular service? Something like this or getting their questions answered right here in real time from this AI bot built on a knowledge base of their business. Hopefully that gives you some insight on how you can build and sell AI chat widgets in your high level account. Now, if you don't have a high level account, you can get an extended free trial with me. As a thanks for using my affiliate link to get started in a high level, I'm gonna give you some free trainings and free coaching to help you avoid mistakes and to get you up and running as quickly as possible. If you want access to my free community, just like the video, leave a comment below, and we'll make sure that you get the private link sent to you. And lastly, it is the summer of AI promotion from high level. So right now, the AI is actually free with paid accounts until September 1st. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.